We're working to get our connection going. Sorry about that. Let's see. Instagram is working. It's having some difficulty. It's coming on and off. Let's see what we need to do to make sure it's all connecting properly. How are you guys doing? It's a beautiful day. It's Sunday 26th. Oh, my gosh. September. It's just rocking and rolling. And uh, here to answer your questions, share some ideas. Next Sunday, we have a special guest. All right, let's see. Comments. All right, let's see, everyone. Let's remind our Instagram right now that YouTube and Facebook seems to be it. Let's see. Maybe I can, maybe I can get this guy working right on our, on our uh, Instagram. We'll see. We'll see. You never know. Always working to get, do something different. It's not liking it. I don't know. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. It's a beautiful day. And let's see. Jess Lynn, hello. Suggest waiting to transfer after giving birth. I recommend three to six months is a good time on that. Deanna, hello. Natasha, hello. Uh, ASAP, developed two large cysts on right ovary, six to eight. Best option, stick a needle and drain it or get it laparoscopically drained if you haven't had a laparoscopy. But I think that can help a lot. Let me see. Maybe I'll start over. And now, uh, delete, discard. Uh, let's see. What's going on with this? Let's try one more time. Let's see if it's going to go for a connection. Alex, Beck, Tia, hello. Jesse, hello. Michelle, hello. Karen, hello. Uh, let's see. Uh, tried ester, progesterone, and Lupron combo to thin out the lining, but don't start your period should you start taking. So stay on the Lupron through the whole time and think about maybe getting a hysteroscopy DNC. That may be the other way to do that. All right. We're going to work on this guy at the same time. I'm multitasking, by the way. And let's see what our connection looks like. Uh, let's see if it'll, let's switch. It's, we're, we're always working to do something different in this process. Good morning, Deanna, Natasha, Kelly, Jana, Alex. Uh, uh, Rihanna, it was great seeing you also, by the way. And uh, always great seeing everyone. And I feel very blessed and lucky every single day to be on this journey of, uh, helping all of us uh, in our fertility world. Well, Instagram's not having a happy day today. Optimal amount of hours on progesterone if you have failed FET and did not do ERA. 120 is usually 122-ish. Usually uh, after five days of progesterone, so the sixth day of progesterone for a blast, and after three days of progesterone, the fourth day of progesterone for a cleavage stage, day three, seems to be the one. And uh, that seems to be the best way to go. Angie, good morning. Uh, but the ERA, ERP, but don't forget hysteroscopy, laparoscopy. Uh, we're going to be working with Dr. Vidali and Pregmun, P R E G M U N E dot com. Check it out. A new testing pro, uh, protocol. Uh, and Dr. Vidali will be joining us next Saturday, I'm um, Sunday at 10 a.m. for a live. Really excited about that. We have lots of good things we're bringing to the table. Uh, and uh, Ash, uh, Ashalia, uh, Ashalia, uh, it was my pleasure, by the way. And uh, keep, 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 keep at it. Don't give up. Have faith. And um, remember, dig deep inside because faith is first always. Uh, my device today is not working very well for my uh Instagram. So I apologize to everyone for that one. We're doing our very best. Uh, let me see if I could find one other way to do this. And always something in the mix, right? Uh, second egg retrieval yesterday in Albany with Dr. Ditkoff called it saying only two fertilized. How long do I need to wait to do a third cycle? You can go right into another stimulation within the week. 
uh, five to seven days is okay or wait for your next cycle. Uh, your menstrual period doesn't really matter in this process. So I would just get going right away. Uh, please remind everyone, my Facebook, YouTube people to tell all the Instagram people to come on over here because my Instagram is not working today and we just go with it, right? Uh, let's see. I've heard y'all are cheap for IVF, but crappy because you pull a client in with a low price and then don't follow through. Jessica Landis, Dr. Kiltz right here, 315-416-9872, um, here always to help. Um, it's been a crazy, crazy craziness over COVID, but, um, I, if anyone's having any challenge or difficulty, please reach out to me, rkiltz at cnyfertility.com. Um, and we want to be there to help you by the way. So if you're getting a, a crappy, uh, experience, please reach out. We want to make sure we're doing our very best. It's very imperfect, unfortunately, but we need our whole global team to work together in a more positive way to help everyone, by the way. So, um, uh, Pop, thank you very much, April. All of us are human beings. It is not easy, this journey of life, but uh, we know as human beings, we make mistakes, but we want to work out to be better, by the way. Uh, let's see. I work in a warehouse. How long do I need to take off for an IVF cycle? Uh, Miss Williams, uh, Rihanna, um, you know, a few days after your transfer or procedure is, is good, but depends what you're doing. If you're doing a lot of heavy lifting, uh, a lot of stuff that's going to heat up your body, maybe give it a week. Uh, but you know, you tell us what you think you need. Also, we want to make sure that happens in all of this. Maybe there's something else you can do. You can work, um, phones or computer and things like that. So, uh, thank you, Carrie Jefferson. Uh, and look at, if there's someone that's feeling that they're not getting the best, very best, let's listen and learn and all let's go, uh, come to the, to the, uh, uh, point where we can say, Hey, what can we do to help you find it better? We need your honesty and help every single day. Uh, airport scanners, post -tra uh, embryo transfer. I, you know, probably more radiation in many of our homes uh, and and uh, from the sun and other things that we can't even see. And in my opinion, remember, um, keto, keto, keto is, is the most amazing thing. And um, you want to reduce inflammation. That's probably the leading cause of most of our inflammation, by the way. All right. Let's see if I can. Try. I'm going I'm to keep on trying as we're as we're as we're in the mix here. Uh, but it doesn't like whatever the uh, uh, the the connection is. Uh, let's see. Would you recommend uh, for just low motility? Uh, call a few days ago and no call back. What location? Or I'm in Syracuse, but I'm everywhere, and that's where I really work. Our male male molecular fertility uh, is is the. Uh, is is uh, the one to, to uh, try male uh, molecular fertility along with the CBD LDN uh, for some guys at Clomid 25 milligrams and maybe even HCG. Most important part is uh, look at Kilts's keto. I don't even know where my 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 uh, my new keto magazine is missing here, but. I'll show you what the cover looks like. And you can get it on our website through, uh, go to cnyfertility.com. And you know, keto is an anti-inflammatory food lifestyle. Uh, 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 and, and it really is a remarkable change, change game, in my opinion. But get off the treadmill or at least slow it down and cool it down. I do a little bit of light bike, a little bit of light weights. You know, now at almost 66, I got to keep the motion moving and keep everything limber, by the way. Uh, carry uh, auto injector. It would save clients a ridiculous shipping. They charge auto injector. Jess Floyd, uh, Rosado Floyd. Um, let's see what we need to do to get the auto injectors so we have them for you guys. That's a good, 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 important part. We'll do whatever we can and make it better. And again, Dr. Vidali is joining us next Sunday, 10 o'clock. Excited about that. Uh, talking about inflammation, immunology, and testing, by the way. Nicole, how are you doing? All right, let's see. What is the problem with the system today? I don't know. 
but it's going to keep trying in one way or another. Uh, e, uh, what is the benefit of CBD? How long should... So uh, we used to have CNY CBD. We're coming out with it again, excited about that. But basically, CBD, omega-3 fatty acids, and fat, when you consume it, it's anti-inflammatory. It's anti-inflammatory in the gut first. Uh, check out Ken Berry, uh, Nisha Berry, excited about them. Oh, uh, now, again, you don't have to be carnivore, by the way, but uh, between between uh, uh, Miss uh, Maria and myself and so many others talking about carnivore and keto and anti-inflammation, it'll reduce the inflammation in the gut. The gut inflammation affects the inflammation to our entire body. So we want to do everything we can to get rid of the inflammation in our entire body, by the way. Uh, Wanda, good morning. Rebecca, an embryo can split to create twins. Anything that cuts into the embryo, like assisted hatching, ICSI, biopsy, yes, all those things do affect that. Uh, but again, um, you know, all those things also help with implantation and conceiving. So that's another important one. Let's see. Maybe I need to uh, turn this guy off. We'll see whatever it is. Sometimes you just turn these things off and on, but... We'll get it later. Uh, distal blocked tubes of possible hydrosalpinks as well as cystic fibrosis. I have my first consult with CNY Buffalo next week. What is my next step? Laparoscopy to possibly remove the tubes or clip them. April, uh, perky, yes. So talk to your gynecologist. Maybe get your tube removed or both. What are both? If any of them is normal, leave it. And then if you want to, uh, you can do IVF with PGS. PGT, PGM, it's basically genetically testing the embryo for whether the chromosomes in the normal configuration and numbers, gender, and any single gene disorders, and we can help with that for sure. But I would say uh, we're looking at get AMH, TSH, um, ultrasound, and looking at thyroid functions. I mentioned that. Uh, basic CBC, metabolic panel, um, and full genetic screening. I, I think that's important. Vanessa, uh, for everyone that's having difficulties or anyone who just wants to join the team, the family, uh, the CNY Fertility Support Group, check out uh, the Fertile Spirit uh, and Fertile Hope Yoga. Lots of really great great things to, uh, uh, to help in all of that. All right. Not going to come. I'm not going to stop here. I'm going to keep trying all of this. Lisa Penna. Uh, hello, Lisa. How you doing? My daughter has Effie, uh, Effie Friday in Syracuse with two embryos. She's on tacro and lipids, and her body usually rejects the embryos. Anything else post-transfer? Uh, so Kiltz is keto lifestyle for everyone. Uh, one meal a day, high fat. Lotus now tracks on CBD, uh, up the steroids, prednisone to a 10 to 15 twice a day, uh, Lovenox 30 twice a day. Uh, once you do the program and get pregnant, add Lovenox, I'm sorry, add um, Plaquenil 200 milligrams twice a day. Uh, I think that's important. I am in general recommending everyone to get the COVID vaccine because the virus is worse. But if you choose not to get it, uh, protect yourself, wear a mask, social distancing. Those are the things. And uh, we're really here to help everyone on their individual journey on what they want. Uh, let's see. Can IVF cause menopause to occur earlier? Not that I know of. I mean, certainly there's risks of infection or damage to the ovaries could affect that, but there isn't any evidence that 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 menopause happens earlier. Uh, Silvana, good question. Uh, uh, Jordan Chang uh, on CD9 OCP for cysts got my COVID booster. Next day I have my period again. Will this affect my IVF cycle? It may help it, by the way. And I'm not a big fan of the birth control pill. I prefer Estrace and Prometrium. Uh, but uh, these cysts, often you can stimulate with them or do a, uh, do a drainage and start stimming uh, anyway. But don't give up. Uh, after five embryo transfers, FETs, three donors, finally pregnant, C-section. Uh, Julia, Julie uh, Faye, uh, share your stories. Um, we were we're we're building our we're doing our next family building guide. We want your story to be part of that um, on our website, cnyfertility.com. Um, and just sharing so many ideas how we can all do better and better and better. And thank you very much always for sharing your thoughts and ideas. 
uh, women uh, miss their period when they take the vaccine. You know, these are things we hear about. There's a lot of people missing their periods no matter what. But yes, anytime you have some inflammation in your body, some some physical or, or emotional things, this affects the menstrual cycles. But that may be a factor, but uh, we don't always know the exact cause. But even if you miss your period, that isn't a reason why we can't get you started in your STEM process. Uh, are we allowed to intimate, uh, be intimate leading up to a modified natural letters all? Yes. Uh, intimacy is always good. Sex is good. We need to keep our intimate nature and be patient with each other in this process. Be patient with yourself. Be loving, kind, and generous. Remember, faith first. Uh, Kiltz's keto lifestyle and keto fitness is key and go slow and easy. That's it. Uh, Tara, good morning to you. Uh, Suitsky, uh, my pleasure, by the way. Uh, oh my God. Uh, we have a great team, by the way, but we, like all other humans, are imperfect and we're doing our very best this day and every day to help share with you in ways that we can help on the journey. All right. I'm going to try this one more time. Let's see if I can. If I can do this, I love this journey. And we have all this technology that is so imperfect. Oh my gosh. And uh, I'm going to see if I can restart this thing and get our Instagram. But remind everyone, come on over to Facebook, uh, YouTube, and see if we can uh, help make this all work. Technology is great, but like suddenly I'm talking on the phone and it drops a call. Um, it's quite amazing what we're able to do. And uh, Sarasota is opening uh, very soon. We're working on our lab. Colorado's doing awesome. Dr. Fink, Dr. Magarelli, thank you. But to the nursing team, to the uh, uh, to the laboratory teams, to the front office, back office support team, to the cleaning team, to all the global team, everyone, thank you for working diligently to help make um, IVF more affordable. Plus, we're integrating Eastern and Western philosophy, reproductive immunology, dietary changes, right? How does diet matter, right? Well, my friends, food matters tremendously. Uh, so keep on the journey. Don't give up. Talk to your OBGYNs in Los Angeles, in Seattle, in Dallas, um, in, in uh, Oklahoma, in uh, Minneapolis, wherever you are in this country, this world, talk to your OBGYNs. How can they help you get monitoring or pre-care and post-care, surgical care, all these things to help you on the journey. And if you have a complication, how can they help you care for that complication, by the way? Lydia, uh, let's see, A. Kushulpa, uh, should I transfer two 4A embryos next week? You may, but I recommend one embryo. Uh, currently doing studies to determine the impact on fertility, Silvana. Yes, they are. And, and the one thing I know is that inflammation is the thing that we need to help reduce in our bodies. If we reduce our inflammation in our bodies via Kiltz's Keto, um, our, our, our supplements, um, and your faith, well, then all those things that, that create a more harmful effects if COVID gets you or the flu gets you or any other of these, these microbes get you, we've got to make the changes. Uh, let's see, Anna Giffen, hello, two uh, day three embryos, two seven grades with Dr. Fink. They were great, did a, a modified natural antihistamine protocol lining 10.1. That was awesome, by the way, great odds. Modified natural or natural, natural. I get my regular cycles. I monitor when I ovulate with an ovulation predictor kits and I schedule my transfer from there. Modified natural is either you do a trigger shot with, with letrozole or clomid, preferably letrozole in my opinion, or you add a little bit of letrozole and you do a trigger shot. That's modified. And which one should you do? They all can work. It's kind of individualized. That's what we're really working on. Individual care. All right, let me see if I get this thing started. Uh, let's see what we got and see if I got the right code. Oh, it liked my code. Very good studies. Yes. Uh, I, uh, let's see. There's an option to freeze eggs before fertilization. Maria. Yes, there is. By the way, could non-estrogen producing cysts cause my FET to be canceled? Nicole story. I don't think these cysts need to be a reason to cancel an FET personally. So make sure that you're talking to the practitioners, reminding Kilt says don't cancel those if I have a cyst. It doesn't matter, by the way. And if you have a thick lining, 
uh, either start Orlis or Lupron and then repeat the, uh, the exam in a week. And if it's still there, go ahead and schedule a hysteroscopy DNC, an endometrial scratch, which may help with implantation because it affects inflammation, by the way. All right, we're going to try this one more time and see if it will work. If it works, great. If it doesn't, that's okay, too. All right. Whoop, whoop, whoop. We'll see. Everyone, hang on with me. Thank you for being so patient with my craziness. All right. I think I've got my, my Instagram up and running, but hey, Molly. Uh, are beef liver supplements an okay alternative to prenatals? Yes, you may take them with your prenatals. And we do have our own uh, Kiltz's supplements, which has uh, liver supplements. So I highly recommend them. But if again, if you don't want to eat the liver, eat the supplement. Um, and, and again, if you're a vegan, um, look towards seaweed, believe it or not, supplements. We have a lot of these really good things, by the way. Sorry for my, my Instagram faux pas this morning. Uh, let's see above 40 would fresh or frozen transfer, uh, Adriana fresh or frozen. I do a lot of banking, 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 then do a transfer. I do a lot of freeze on day three. Don't go to blast. Uh, so those are the things that, that I look at in all of this. Uh, Karen Miller done ester progesterone and Lupron. What, uh, but, but, but what happened if you stop Lupron, just want to start another cycle and try transfer with a normal lining before doing a DNC. You know, you could stop everything and see what a natural cycle looks like. And sometimes if your baseline ultrasound is a thicker lining, still go for it. You want to look at it and see what it looks like between day 11, 12, and 13. Again, we may be misreading and interpreting what it means when we do a baseline ultrasound early, by the way. Sarasota office for monitoring should be open this week. Dr. Condra and team, get open this week. Then it's not going to be perfect. We're not doing bloods yet. We'll draw them. Uh, we're not we're not doing preps for sperm yet, but it's coming soon. At least we can start saying hi, everyone, show the place. We got a lot of work to do, um, and then I can work on LA and Seattle and Minneapolis and other places. But right now, let's focus on these places. Now, a patient can carry the baby themselves. BJ Pumpin, um, we do. You know, this is where. What's your history? What's your story? Um, what's your uterus like? How many surgeries have you had? These are things, and have you had an HSG, a saline sono, um, an MRI, a CT scan, but they're not all perfect. And basically, don't forget, there's also a gestational carrier. Oh, and to uh, Dr. Ivanov in Philadelphia, we're really working to get that moving better, doing IUIs, doing consults, doing monitoring, and eventually maybe doing more. And Atlanta with Dr. Verdialis, we're working on getting our frozen transfers there, uh, that's our next step there, and we're really excited about that. Uh, Bo, uh, ben, uh, B. Noble Jack, uh, do you find that you see high success with transferring blasts? Listen, day three and blasts, cleavage and blasts work great. You got to get an embryo in the uterus to know if it's going to work. So blasts do better because they made it to blast. But the culture environment may not be perfect for day three that might have made it in your uterus, but didn't make it in the in the dish. So, you know, there's a lot of opinions in this business that I think are often wrong. Uh, let's see. Steph Klein, Carly, hello. Sis Kylie, hello. Good morning to everyone. Thank you, everyone, for joining me every Sunday at 10 a.m. I might jump in some other times. Uh, Dr. Corley is back this week. Uh, Dr. Banerjee, Dr. Condrup, uh, Dr. Lutheringer. I've uh, been working uh, diligently this last week. Dr. Condrup's gone back to Sarasota. Dr. Banerjee back to uh, the D.C. area. And we are working to get a monitoring center in the D.C. area. Excited about that. Uh, Lutonized unruptured follicle, Luff. Uh, well, uh, let's see, what caused Luff? Uh, I don't know that we know that. An egg either wasn't there or just didn't come out, uh, but I don't know that we can even prove it, by the way. FED transfer day estrogen level is 98. That was good. Look at, there's such a range of these numbers. We don't really know the exact right number, unfortunately. Jessup, 111409. Yes, you can do a frozen transfer, a fresh transfer, a natural cycle, no medications. 
Just tell the team you don't want any meds. Hey, oh, look at the family building guide. Again, go to cnyfertility.com, top bar resources, click down at the family building guide and the Kielce's keto lifestyle. But look at the, the uh, protocols in here. I think it's 70 something or, uh, and you'll see sample immune protocols. Um, look at that. But again, natural cycle works great. InvoCell, love the InvoCell. It works great, but our charges, our costs are already less than InvoCell. So we put a lot in developing things, IVF labs. So we're, we're excited about what we're doing. PCOS, Mrs. St uh, Stacy Lynn, first round, got 34 embryos. Three made it to day five. What day three embryos are better? Already had HSG. Day three, day three, day three. Tell the doctors you do not, the embryology, you do not want to go to blast. You can freeze them on day three. You can try some day three transfers. You can then individually take a few and let them go to blast, thawing them. But do, don't do it fresh. Uh, it's interesting concepts. Remember, we think we know all the answers, but we don't, my friends. We're just making it all up. We're doing something, learning something. Do not give up, by the way. Uh, let's see, LDN and have prednisone too, but it's not on my treatment plan. Uh, so add the LDN, add the prednisone. Uh, LDN is three to four and a half milligrams a day. Uh, the prednisone is five to 10 uh, milligrams twice a day. And if you're not on it, talk to the team. We'll get you on it, at least by the transfer, the IUI or the intercourse timing uh, for transfer. Remember, all the things we talk about can be done with IUI, IVF, intercourse, fresh or frozen, on natural. Can't do transfer on day. Yes, you can do a transfer day three. You can transfer cleavage. Day. You can do a transfer on day two, three, four, five, six, and day seven. Any of these days, you can do a transfer. We generally recommend a cleavage stage day three, blast stage day five or six. Uh, so cleavage is day two, three, or four. We do not work on Sundays. So we're kind of like Chick-fil-A, right? Uh, see in church. And remember, church is wherever you're at in a holy space. Find it within you. We're all in that space right now, every day, and have faith. InvoCell is a little plastic device, a culture device. You put the culture media, the egg and the sperm, or an injected egg into the device, put it in the vagina, and there's some evidence that it does help some people. Is it better? Not better, but it's working to lower the cost in order to eliminate these big IVF laboratories. But you still need an IVF lab if you get extra embryos and you want to freeze them. So that's the interesting part of the story. Priming. Two to four weeks if you want to go up to eight to 12 weeks, but you want to prime every day. One meal a day, high fat, low carbs, occasional sugar, right? I do love my ice cream. My Oh, Kiltz's Keto Ice Cream. And if you look at Dr. Kiltz's Keto Lifestyle, uh, it's one meal, high fat, low carbs, no carbs, cook the carbs well. But remember, if you're a vegan or vegetarian, uh, it's it's uh, coconut oil, milk, uh, cream, and and uh, bacon, I'm sorry, uh, uh, butter and cream. Uh, it really works well, by the way. Uh, bacon, eggs, butter, beef, ice cream, and salt. That's the baby's diet way. Husband's low sperm motility. We decide to do IVF. What meds would you have me take for IVF? Uh, it's always the egg environment. It's always the sperm environment. In general, I do a lot of mini protocols. 10 of letrozole, 200 of gonal or folostem, 20 of lotus HCG, or 150 of gonal or folostem, and 75 of, of menopure. They work very nicely. Uh, and then, and then uh, maybe with a little human growth hormone, three to six units a day, HCG Lupron trigger uh, works great. A hysteroscopy before starting IVF. You don't have to do a hysteroscopy. We often will do a hysteroscopy scratch at the retrieval, freeze all, come back. The next cycle can be very helpful. We're working to get this rocking and rolling for everyone, by the way. Uh, let's see. Yes, lost 14 on Kiltz's Keto. If you're losing weight and you can afford to, it tells us you're going in the right direction. If you're losing too much, add the fat. You might go to two meals a day. One meal, one snack is my general recommendation. And I love 
cookies. I love ice cream and I love chocolate. And uh, my team has taken amazing care of me. I blessed. Oh, and Miss Tia takes amazing care also of me. You know, I'm a workaholic, as you can imagine. But truly, my work is my passion, my hobby, and my art uh, between pottery and painting and um, helping people on this journey of health and wellness and conception. That's the key. Uh, Fresh and Frozen's K Flect 016. They do great, both of them. They're, one's not better than the other. It's another option. Uh, we do charge a little bit more to do a frozen cycle, uh, by the way. So that's the game changer. Uh, let's see. I uh, have endometriosis and PCOS. My endo doctor told me to stay away from red meat. Red meat, by the way, is the healthiest thing a lion can eat. We're lionesses and lions. Uh, bacon, eggs, butter, beef, ice cream, and salt. Your doctor doesn't know, in my opinion. Uh, carbohydrates cause glycation, cause damage to the glycocalyx and the peritoneum, and that's the damaging thing, by the way. Uh, I'm most amazed... And uh, the best meats and dairy-free options on keto. Again, keto is, is high fat, low to no carbs in one meal a day. Uh, you choose what you want to eat. But personally, I look at lions and I look at pigs and cows. And I know what looks like the healthiest thing to me. And what I have found is healthy red meat. If you're going to eat chicken, you know, fry it or bake it in a pot and take the grease and the skin, the dark meat, and eat it, by the way. All right, uh, Samir, hello, Samir, uh, 1985, mom of four. Uh, why not test testosterone and progesterone levels a day before transfer instead of on transfer day? Kimber, uh, 0211, we can add an extra charge and start doing that and cost more. We're trying to do things more efficiently. We found that that rarely is it significant in the first place. But if you want it, ask for it. We'll be glad to, but there is an extra charge possibly on, on all sides. We're really have found most places don't do any estrogen progesterone uh, levels at all. So we found this to be the most efficient. Um, let's see. Husband is all about steak and eggs. It's Molly. It's the most amazing thing. Uh, I know you don't code dysfunction. We do. You can code ovarian dysfunction. If you're getting monitoring for IVF or IUI, it must make have a code for assisted reproduction. That's just it. You can add secondary codes. So please tell my nurses and everyone, ovarian dysfunction, endometriosis, may all be on there along with assisted reproductive monitoring. If we don't do it, I go to jail and CNY fertility doesn't exist in the way that I can bring it to you guys. Uh, let's see. Heather Page, Tamara, uh, wouldn't dirty keto help? Dirty keto is like cheating, right? Would you cheat on your husband, wife, or partner? It's not safe, by the way. Dirty keto uh, is not good in my opinion. You want to be narrow as an arrow. That's the key. Uh, during Trevol, a, hist uh, a hysteroscopy, DNC biopsy in Colorado can be done. The team is learning how to do it. It's simple and easy. If you see a cyst, if you see a pop, you can remove it. But if not, we schedule for an operative case. Simple as that. Uh, the Lydia, the estrogen progesterone level has a slight value. We're adjusting it, but most of the time, it's not that. It's it's not enough. Uh, but we're we're monitoring it and checking it so that if we may need to give you a little bit more, say, you know what, you're good. We feel comfortable with it. Uh, let's see. Uh, after six months, my body stopped going into ketosis. Listen, being in ketosis, uh, Stephanie Klein, 43, is not critical. Uh, you basically, it, it's it, it, that ketosis doesn't matter. Your body always burns fat. There's no such thing as insulin resistance, and your body never burns sugar ever. You must convert sugar to fat in order to be the healthiest thing you ever are. That's it. Otherwise, you die. Sarasota doing uh, any everything you guys do in New York? Not yet. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, Charlotte 326, but we're coming. I'm down there. I might be down there next weekend for a couple of days to get things organized. Uh, let's see, Victosa during, I, Victosa, let's see, I apologize that I don't know much about Victosa and I'll have to take a look at it. 
Uh, let's see, dirty keto, basically cheating. Don't cheat. Uh, narrow is a narrow, no variety, no spice. Damn, we do love variety, spice, and cheating, don't we? But you can't do it. You know what it feels like. Zymot, yes, uh, Jana. Zymot may help in getting the better sperm, the less uh, inflamed, inflamed sperm for sure. Increased chances of implantation. What in techniques? All right. Family building guide, 73 and 74, although the pages might be slightly different in here, but it goes all over our treatments, our pre-treatments and all the things, laparoscopy, hysteroscopy, endometrial scratch, ERA, PRP, HCG, nupogen wash, uh, sub-Q nupogen, uh, Lovenox higher dose, prednisone higher dose, Plaquenil higher dose, uh, Kiltz's keto lifestyle, acupuncture, massage, meditation, and don't forget prayer. Lots of prayer, right? Sprinkle baby dust all over. We all need baby dust, right? What uh, is the go-to medication to make super sperm? Uh, molecular fertility essentials uh, for males. I think that's good. Lotus naltrexone, uh, CBD oil, Kiltz's keto lifestyle for fertility. That's the game changer. Guys, gals, all of us, we need to do it. It's the change all. It really, really matters. Uh, scar tissue, which causes me miscarriage twice. What do you do about it? Uh, let's see. Nima, ja uh, let's see. Jagana, 56. Everything we talk about in the family building guide, that's what you want. Reduce inflammation, hysteroscopy, uh, a light clean out scratch. Uh, you flush things out. That's why we get a lot of mucus in the pelvis. The mucus in the pelvis is like sinus mucus that really, really helps uh, prevent sperm and egg uh, interactions and implantation, all these things. The hysteroscopy DNC, I think, can really be helpful. Uh, but this is where our immune three and four, our four is IVIG, Humira, and leukocyte aminotransfusion. It's a crazy one. Uh, a big wave and hearts and love to everyone out there. Thank you for sharing. Uh, check out Maria Emmerich, uh, Ken Berry. Uh, check out uh, uh, Carnivore Aurelius, Carnivore uh, Yogi. Uh, check out uh, Carnivore Cavelli. Check out Judy Cho. Uh, so many out there just bringing lots of great ideas. But I, And I know my stuff sounds ridiculous and wrong. Uh, and I, I look very upside down often in this world of, of fertility. I sound like an idiot. Uh, I, sometimes Tia thinks, right? But every day have faith, do not give up. And love is the best way to inspire all of us. I put these, these are, these are my uh, vision boards, love and faith and patience to each and every one of us. And so thank you to everyone for joining us today. Share this around. Um, we're here just to continue at it. Mucinix, yes. Okay, if you haven't seen my TikTok uh, Mucinix uh, little thing, but Mucinix reduces inflammation. I used to take a ton of this stuff. But then I do laparoscopies and I see all this mucus in and around the fallopian tubes, uh, the ovaries. It's probably in and around the male testicle area and the prostate and the pelvis doing the same thing, blocking the function of your egg, sperm, embryos, and implantation environment. Uh, remember, you're already healthy. Don't forget a little bit of yoga, tai chi, patience, and faith, and never, ever, 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 ever give up because God is always on your side. Uh, Jana Arts, it's my pleasure Pick of the sex of the embryo we would like to transfer. Tas uh, Tasia, yes, you can do IVF, embryo biopsy, extra charge, and do PGS uh, biopsy for that. Absolutely, you can do that. Uh, Taryn, uh, oh, to my to my call center, thank you. To my financial and billing team, thank you. We're going through lots of changes, lots of craziness in this world. Uh, see, my C-reactive inflammation marker came out high. Doctor told me to increase aspirin to help. What else can I do? Kilts is keto lifestyle. If you haven't looked at the family building, I'd look at it. It's all about inflammation. Aspirin, 81 to 100 milligrams. Uh, prednisone, 10 to 20 twice a day. Uh, Lovenox, 30 to 40 twice a day. Uh, Plaquenil, 200 milligrams twice a day. IVIG, 20 to 30 
grams every two weeks, so beginning about one to two weeks prior to transfer, and go to 14 weeks every two weeks. Uh, weekly lipids uh, and stay Kiltz's keto all the time. Do not like, oh, I need lots of fruits and vegetables. Fruits and vegetables want to kill us, use us as fertilizer, and put us in the ground. It didn't make sense to me. An Italian, I was like, how can that be? It can't. Premature luteinization of follicle. This is where, so if for some reason the progesterone goes up before either your trigger shot for intercourse IUI or IVF, there's premature development of progesterone. It may be that one egg ovulated, but the rest didn't. We don't really understand the why part of it, but generally we recommend freezing of embryos if you do an IVF. You might need to up your uh, uh, cetratide or Ganorox and use it two times a day or add Lupron 10 to 20 uh, units uh, a day can be helpful in all of that. Is everyone doing okay? Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, 42, doctor I had a consult said day three is better. Hey, Maria, look, at again, we don't know for everyone which is the right one. I tend in those with lower ovarian reserve, so fewer embryos do a day three, transfer or freeze. With those with five or more embryos, go to blast. But some people that have bad sperm, you're better off doing a day three and not going to blast. But boy, we're all so opinionated in this world, aren't we? Remember, we all have our different opinions about politics and religions and cultures and social natures and everything. Most important thing is love and faith and harmony in the mind and the body. 38 years young, Johanna, uh, no children, three miscarriages, now tubes blocked. Would I be able to transfer to PGT normal? Possibly. Uh, we want to give ourselves the best chance possibly. Um, I would personally say yes, but some of my other docs recommend doing one. But this is where I make sure you're doing an immune three or four and your kilts is keto lifestyle. Again, these are the two books you need. One is the family building guide and kilts is keto lifestyle. You can download them. And our new Fertile Feast cookbook with Marie Emmerich. I'm going to get a copy in my hands to show you guys next week. Uh, and we're having Dr. Vidali really excited about that next Sunday. Amazing endometriosis uh, surgeon, uh, expert on reproductive immunology, uh, worked and trained with Dr. Braverman. Uh, and so I'm really excited about bringing him on board next week uh, for you guys to talk about reproductive immunology. My friends, it matters. Uh, the problem with modern science and studies is it's just not very accurate. I mean, which religion should you believe in? Should you believe in religion? Is faith and meditation and prayer helpful? I don't know. We have a lot of opinions, don't we? FET next week, struggle to get lining thick, but finally seven, protocol three, PRP. PRP, HCG, Nupogen wash. Don't forget, maybe add Viagra vaginal uh, and... Uh, Seven millimeter is great, by the way. Uh, Jackie 44. Kelly, how does Lupron help when priming the cycle before? I do Oralissa or Lupron with human growth. It suppresses endometriosis. The priming is about suppressing endometriosis. I also will add a DORs, DHEA, uh, omega 3s, uh, the CNY fertility. Look at molecular fertility supplements. Look at our resources, go all the way down. Lots of great stuff there for you. Uh, uh, De Denise Lissette. All right. 40 and 42, always a chance, never give up. I don't know what's going to work or not work for anyone. None of us do. Do something to get something. But if you know that anything other than I'm having a baby, that's all you need to be right here. Put the pictures of you and the baby right there. PG, PCG testing at 40. I'm not a big fan of PGS, PGT, PGM testing in general. Single gene disorder is great if that's what you want to do. Plenty of people with single gene disorders who live an amazing life, contribute to life, and without them, we would not be who we are. Perfection is in the imperfect nature of all of us. 
the testing and refresh. So uh, Tonjerica, generally we biopsy embryos and freeze them. We don't get the information back fast enough. Thank you to Cooper Genomics, by the way, for their testing. We do iGenomics for ERA, Cooper Genomics for PGS, PGTA. A tremendous amount of great, great providers out there helping us on this amazing journey. Uh, again, the CNY Fertility Group, uh, Vanessa Rodriguez uh, uh, has a great Facebook group. We should put it up uh, as a link. Check out our Facebook, CNY Fertility Facebook. Uh, oh, Chris Z. Kelly. Chris Z. Dr. Chang, Dr. D'Souza. But Chris Z., thank you for being an ardent, dedicated person to CNY Fertility for 20 years. We've been working with Chris Z and Buffalo is amazing. Thank you for your patience and my embryology team in Buffalo. Thank you for all the amazing work you guys are doing. Uh, let's see. Uh, Vanessa again. Aaron uh, Kapko, can you get pregnant while nursing? Yes, you can. Quite often we recommend not nursing in order to do treatments, but plenty of women nurse and get pregnant and have babies. So it's not an end all. You got to stop breastfeeding. And, and uh, you know, again, we have to be much more flexible in the process. That's why stretching and yoga and Tai Chi is so good. You guys like the fire today? Huh? It's uh, it's cooling down. It's fall in upstate New York. I'm going to be working with Dr. Condrup and the team in Sarasota, getting that rocking and rolling. Dr. V in Atlanta, getting our embryology team there rocking and rolling, and working with Cami and the embryology team, uh, the whole clinical team, uh, the surgical OR team in Colorado Springs. Really, really, really happy that they're part of the CNY fertility family and really working diligently to maintain the CNY fertile way. And again, we're all working to come in alignment with the CNY fertile way. Well, I want to do it this way and I want to do it that way. Well, guess what? We're all CNY fertility now. We're doing it the CNY fertile way. It's as simple as that. Prednisone, can it truly help uh, or can it be too much? Ashley Nicole, I think prednisone, dexamethasone reduces inflammation. We know that inflammation is the killer. Remember, COVID kills because your body mounts an overreactive inflammatory reaction. Somehow the vaccine may help modulate your inflammatory reactions and does better to attack it and kill it without killing you. Um, so I do recommend that. Does progesterone cream work as well as progesterone in oil injections? Cream, vaginal, oral, or injections, all of those things are valuable and helpful. Endometrin uh, suppository, prometrium is used either oral or vaginal, and and uh, crinone is a, is a cream vaginal in general. But there are some topical creams that may not be as good. Uh, by, by the way, let's see. Uh, does uh, does Dr. K, it's been, uh, let's see, it's been over two months since my follow-up with you. I still haven't been scheduled for lap hysteroscopy. Christine uh, Bunner thomas we've had some challenges because now a lot of the hospitals have cut back because there's so many people suffering from COVID. So we're having difficulty. They're canceling our surgeries. So many hospitals are having a difficult time. Get your vaccine uh, or be be patient with our ability to get you in for those uh, those surgeries. But just reach back out to me, text me, email me. We're going to keep on working. Uh, Mandy is coming back, and we're working on a global surgical scheduling team that's going to be able to talk to your OBGYNs about getting you scheduled wherever you are in this world. Dr. Andrea v uh, Vidali does a lot of surgeries for us. Dr. Condrup down in, in Sarasota is st starting. Dr. Montalto uh, – uh, in in um, Albany, uh, and Dr. Gomi in Buffalo. Uh, Amy Nelson, hi, how you doing, Amy? It's great to, to hear from you today. Would you recommend a modified transfer after two failed FETs? I read PCOS women do better with these types of FETs. Uh, Elliot, let and uh, trigger no other problems but blocked tubes. Three prior natural children. Uh, natural cycle trigger transfer, great way. Letters all trigger, great way. Um, 
we need to be open to all these ways. There are lots of different ways. I don't know the one right way, but if what you're doing isn't working, change it up. Don't forget laparoscopy, hysteroscopy. Look for endo, scar tissue. Just flush things out. Um, and ovarian acupuncture, little holes in the ovary, helps a lot of PCOS out, by the way. Reversal scheduling, Jamie Connors. Uh, same, the reversals with myself in Syracuse, Dr. Verdialis uh, uh, in uh, Atlanta. Uh, we're, our, our, uh, Mandy's coming back. We're going to really get rocking and rolling and adding more scheduling. We're excited about that. I personally like, like the bubbly water, uh, but it's mostly water, a little bit of coffee, uh, very, very rare uh, I'm an extra, 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 extra dirty uh, blue cheese stuffed olives, occasional martini, but, and I'm not trying to get pregnant. I'm feeling great, but very rarely a little bit of alcohol. You want to minimize it. Uh, and oh, check out lemongrass in Syracuse if you're here uh, and say hi to Sue and Billy and the entire, entire team. Just tell them, hey, what's Kiltz's steak like? Uh, what does Kiltz eat at lemongrass if you're here, by the way? Uh, can we freeze some embryos on day three uh, and uh, rest on blast? Yes, you can do that. My bias is freeze on day three if you transfer day three. If you want to go to blast, great. Uh, Ditkoff, please, day three freeze if you transfer day three. Uh, I know you love the ancient way, but we're really working in a more modernistic way. Uh, and it's hard for us doctors to change. I know. Uh, Rihanna. Would you recommend uh, the ovarian bloom and timed intercourse? Absolutely. Kilts is keto lifestyle, LDN, CBD, uh, ovarian bloom, ovarian essentials, uh, the uh, prenatals, male essentials. Look at Kilts is keto as a lifestyle for all of us. Change it up. Do something different. If what you're doing isn't working, change it up, my friends. That's the really important thing. Uh, let's see, implant 6A embryos. Listen, why is it so many people are infertile? Well, we don't know the answer, but let's just say we're all fertile. We want to think of the positive side, and we're suffering some immunologic issues either due to what we breathe, drink, eat, or think, and how we move. Remember, you want to slow it down. Get in the pottery studio. Try to do some pottery. Do some poetry or painting. Uh, change it up to get where you want to go. That's the key in all of this. Again, check out uh, the family building guide on uh, our website. You can download a digital, go to Amazon and get a paper copy. CBD gummies. Uh, I don't know that answer. Uh, uh, we, we, we are working on that, but we really want to make sure there's no sugar or very little sugar. Uh, vaccines cause infertility. Emily Baker. I don't believe that. I don't think so. There's so many opinions out there, my friends. There's no evidence that the vaccine causes uh, infertility. My bet is the COVID virus is going to cause a lot of inflammation, a lot of people. But again, individually, you're going to make your decision. We're going to take care of you no matter what in this process. Uh, go slow and easy if you're swimming, by the way. Light and easy. If you're walking or riding or weightlifting or on the, the treadmill, uh, go light and easy. That's the key. Uh, Nicole Reardon, good morning, good morning. 17 weeks, oh my God, awesome. Uh, Dr. Cheng did a great job in June. Listen, we're all working together. We're all changing and listening and learning together. I don't know the right answer for you. I'm just giving you my opinion. Whatever you choose in this journey is you. We love you and support you. Uh, so go slow. Uh, the, uh, the group ran by employees. Uh, let's see. The group, I don't, listen, we, our CNY Fertility Support Group is run by everyone out there, not just us. We don't run it. We're just part of how we can sprinkle and help everyone get together. We don't run anything. I don't even run CNY Fertility. I'm just here on the journey with you guys. We're all learning and listening together. Currently, all right. Uh, let's see. Uh, and Dr. Randy Morrison, there's a lot of evidence out there that that the vaccine is not harmful. Uh, but again, each and every one of us has our, our political opinions, cultural opinions, religious opinions. 
But the most important opinion is faith and belief in God and the journey you're on is perfect. Loving, kind, and generous. That's it. Every single day, right? Uh, let's see. Let's see. Hannah, hello. McCarthy, hello. Uh, Tara Lee Moore, hello. Uh, we are six weeks out with our miracle baby. God bless you, uh, McCarthy. Awesome. Recommendation, how long to wait to implant another embryo at least out with our miracle baby uh i would say three months is a good one my brother tom and i are i think they call them irish twins so mom and dad you know it was only three months uh so I, you know i don't we we say a lot of things in medicine that we don't know very much is my opinion we say it like we think we know everything we know nothing. By the way, no matter your sex, race, gender, age, weight, uh, political, uh, religious, uh, or cultural belief systems, love, faith, and patience to all of us. And my whole team is on your side with tremendous amount of faith, love, and patience every day. We're here to help. Nurse I have two unsuccessful IVFs with unexplained infertility. My gut keeps telling me we should I've tried IUI as three has been, listen, uh, laparoscopy, sclerostomy, look at Kiltz's Keto Lifestyle, look at the Family Building Guide if you haven't already. Listen, they're very, very nominal uh, investments in helping you on your journey. Our new Fertile Feast cookbook is out there with Marie Emmerich. Uh, I'm going to be doing some videos. I'm excited about that and sharing some ideas. But yes, Intercourse, IUI, IVF, fresh or frozen, uh, your your egg, sperm, and embryos, your uterus or a carrier, whatever it is, just focus on I'm doing this. It's going to work and never, ever give up. And listen, we're all a family together. We're all working together. And the more we continue to have faith in the process and the way, wow, doesn't that change the universe in so many ways? But yes, uh, don't forget the immune protocol, level one, two. I generally recommend level three. And it's sometimes level four because the real damage, by the way, is eating three to six high plant-based, low-fat diets a day. Cancer is caused by vegetables. That is it. Sorry, my friends. Hysteroscopy 45 days ago on CD250. Did Prevera not working? Travel team did based on the lining at eight. Uh, so uh, too thick to start meds now. What's uh, Okay, look at Everyone on the CNY fertility team, if you do a hysteroscopy, clean things out, get the estrogen started right away or follow up ult uh, ultrasound and bloods in a week. If you have an eight millimeter lining, just look at it in a week and see whether or not you're right. Add some estrogen. If it's not right, then add some progesterone and then go another week along with some Orlis or Lupron and then withdraw the estrogen progesterone if it, and then maybe even do a hysteroscopy DNC, then get started on estrogen a week later. These hysteroscopies require to get you going right away. So remind the nurses. Dr. Kilt said, I'm doing my hysteroscopy today to thicken, thin the lining, get started right away. All right. Uh, Sue Stevenson, either there isn't enough chemicals, so there, there's bacteria. Oh, don't forget the antimicrobial, uh, the Leviquin, Flagyl, Valtrex, and Diflucan, the antihistamine, which is uh, Pepsid, Claritin, and Benadryl and the anti-endo or lisolupron and letrozole. All right. God, 100%, Molly, always God. And remember, God is within each of us. Your thoughts create your life, your day. It's as simple as that. Good day, bad day, right day, wrong day, easy day, hard day. You, my friends, are the creators. And if you haven't read my book, The Fertile Secret, which I took from the secret, Rhonda Byrne, but fertility and fertile we are. Fastest way to lose weight. Well, don't lose it. Use it. Remember, the fat is there to take you days and weeks without food because the get fat gene is the best survival gene ever created in the universe. If you don't get fat fast, you're dead. Fat is the survival in a famine. So one meal a day kills this keto lifestyle if you really, really do it. But do some yoga meditation, prayer, go for a walk. If you're going to get on a bike or go for a swim, keep moving, but get away from the pasta, the bread, the yogurt, the infinite carbs. It's a high fat, low to no carbs. It's it. It's amazing. To my opinion, carnivore is king. 
Maria and, and Craig Emmerich are amazing. Uh, but check out the new Fertile Feast cookbook. Really excited about it. Sharing some do, new and crazy ideas. It works. But remember, your, your fat is there as the fuel for the Ferrari. Always fat. It's always our distributed fat that feeds the cells, the acetyl-CoA necessary to make energy. Glucose in the liver must be converted to fat in order to then be distributed, deposited, and then used as energy. So look at Atkins, crazy. Okay, Weight Watchers, whatever you want. But to me, it's high fat, low carbs, one meal a day, and have faith and see the beauty that you are in the size you are right now. Fat causes no disease, by the way. Too hungry to only have one meal a day, Silvana. Yes, you are because there's food everywhere. Stay out of the kitchen. Stop buying the shit that you snack on all day because it's not good for us. Uh, but but the more you listen to this stuff, you imagine the beautiful person you are, you will feel better on keto. One to two meals, that's it. And you'll feel better. And listen, by just simply doing one or two meals a day, I've seen so many people clear up the inflammation, become healthier, happier, and guess what? Pregnant. That's it. Toddlers should be doing keto, uh, adolescents keto, young adults, middle adults, old adults. All humans should be on the lioness, the Lion King plan. Check out my, my uh, YouTube video. Uh, it was a TEDx talk on uh, uh, the Lion King plan. Uh, this is the most amazing thing I've ever imagined. Uh, let's see. If you go to drkilts.com, Kilts is Keto. That's where the links are. I'm going to be working with some other companies on sharing even some, some supplements and ideas that are keto, keto, keto. Excited about it. Uh, and yes, uh, Sue Stevenson, thank you. Fat keeps you full. But remember... Your your idea of being full isn't isn't what you need. You need actually for your GI tract to be empty. This why way you you're that's why the one meal a day or go every two meals and that's hard. I mean two days that's hard as shit, right? One meal. I just did a three day fast. Oh my god, it it feels amazing. But for me, it's twenty four hours. One meal a day at night is the best way. Rest and digest. It's the anti-inflammatory home run of the universe for all of us. It seems wrong because 99% of the advice is red meat is bad. You want to eat plenty of fruits and vegetables. The last I looked, they all grind down and simplify into sugar in your stomach. That's it. Plus, they contain chemicals and antigens that kill us and cause all our disease which doesn't make sense. I know. Uh, provide links on, uh, uh, to your keto dietary guidelines. Again, we're working on more. I'm going to add some keto counselors uh, to help you on your journey. So Dr. Kiltz's keto journey is working to do that. So I'm really excited about it. Thank you. Thank you for being with me today. If you're in the office in Syracuse, I'm there this week. I think I'm off Friday, Saturday next week, but who knows where I'll be. I might show up in Atlanta or in Colorado or Sarasota, but wherever you're at, remember, you're the creator of the day. God is within all of us, right? And that's why you want to work your miracles and magic on your day. I listen to Joseph Murphy, James Allen, and if you haven't read or listened to The Secret of Under Burn, and my favorite book is Paulo Coelho's The Alchemist. Remember, you're the one that can turn lead into gold every single day. Uh, God bless you, my friends. An awesome day. I'll see you then. Thank you for dealing with my craziness. And and um, one meal a day, Silvana, that's the game changer. I know it seems radical, but it works. I'll see you guys. Take care.